Hello and welcome to Let's Play Life is Strange. This is a game that I have played before and I greatly enjoyed it. It is quite an emotional story. It is a very lovely game. If you can't tell from the music and the lovely view that we have, this is a great game. Let's just jump, let's just jump on in here. I'm super excited. Life is Strange is a story-based game that features player choice. The consequences of all your in-game actions and decisions will impact the past, present, and future. Choose wisely. Oh, I, I forgot this is how we started. Ooh. Oh, Max. Where am I? What's happening? I'm trapped in a storm? How did I get here? And where is here? Wait, there's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. I hope. Please let me make it there. We'll make it there, girl. We got this. I think. Can I run? Can I move any faster? Probably not. Nope. Oh, Lord. People who know tornadoes, what category is that? Arcadia Bay, is that, is that off the category? How close is that? Jeez Louise, how do we get to the freaking White House? <laughs> oh man. Surreal. called film little pieces of time but he could be talking about photography as he likely was okay i'm in class everything's story. cool so, i am okay from light to shadow from color to chiaroscuro now can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in I black i didn't fall asleep and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream Bueller? weird diane arbus there you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. <laughs> Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. And any one of you could do that to me. Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? I'm trying to listen to what he's what saying, Gabe. What chose to capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence? She had a brilliant eye. So, she could have taken another approach. I, I want to hear. I'm not a big fan of her work. I prefer Robert Frank. Me too, Victoria. He captured the essence of post-war beat America. And there was honesty about the economic conditions of the era. But a beauty in the struggle. You don't have beauty without a beat. Which explains why Frank was Kerouac's photographic muse. And both were the great chroniclers of the 1950s. Well, we've all seen... Look at this crap. 
How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? Uh. I can hear the class laughing at me now. That iconic shot of Kerouac on the balcony. And if you haven't, shame, shame. Capturing the romantic urban solitude of the 20th century poet. You dig? I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. Frank's stark Americana with Salvador Dali's surrealist photographs. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? Uh, I think it looks pretty cool so far. October 1st, my favorite month. Does it go back any further? Ooh, okay, that's the next... Whoa, okay. <laughs> I have... My name is Max Clawfield, and ever since I was a little kid, I knew I wanted to be a photographer. I've always seen the world through my own lens finder. Maybe it's a way for me to be part of the world, but at a safe distance. For some reason, I was always drawn to old analog camera gear rather than digital tech. I love all kinds of styles and techniques, but for me, the instant camera selfie is the one I love most. I don't care if people make fun of me or not. I'm in great company, right? And now I've come all the way back to my childhood home to study photography at Blackwell Academy, a private school for 12th grade seniors. Okay. Yeah, this would have to be a private school if you have a photography class. On a scholarship even, I originally left behind Chloe, my best friend forever, at least until I left without talking to her once in five years and it feels so weird to be back here without seeing her yet. So I'm 18 now, an official adult, even though I don't always feel so wise or mature. That's natural. And I'm ready to begin a whole new life here with retro camera at my side. I love Seattle. Not only is Mark Jefferson one of the best photographers in the world, he's also my teacher and one of the reasons I wanted to come to Blackwell. How often do you get to be mentored by one of your inspirations? I've always loved his deco and goth style, and he's so versatile with all of his incredible print and advertising works. Still, Jefferson can be a bit condescending. He's pretty hip for his age, but kind of aloof and sometimes pretentious. He has this smug smile when he thinks he's right. But I do think he's preparing us for how tough it is to be a full-time artist. He acts like he understands my own work and obsession with analog images. He really wants me to enter a photo in this Everyday Heroes contest, but I've done a good job of avoiding that. The winner gets to fly to San Francisco to represent Blackwell Academy and get national exposure. I'd like to think my work could be good enough to win, and I'm honored Jefferson even bugs me about the contest. I've forgotten if I've ever seen Kate Marsh smile or laugh in the past month. She's really sweet and nice, even though the other students make fun of her abstinence campaign. Even if they act immature, everybody at Blackwell are seniors, not high school freshmen. She gets a lot of shit, in fact. I know she's involved in a lot of religious groups, but she doesn't preach to me, so I don't care. But she's been extra quiet and introverted the past couple weeks. She looks like she's in zombie mode. I wish I could help her, but I can barely help myself. I wonder if all that bullying has worn her down. I can see how it would. I have to make an effort to talk to her more often, maybe invite her to tea or a movie. True love waits. Though she's an adult, I bet she's not allowed to watch R-rated films. Probably not. Probably not allowed to celebrate Halloween either. Shush, I'm dreaming. Then there's Victoria Chase, the elite of Blackwell Academy, and a total bitch. And I hate saying that, I just don't know why. Somebody who's so rich and beautiful needs to be so fucking mean. 18-year-olds at a prestigious academy should be evolving into artists and scholars, not reality show contestants. Victoria does everything for maximum drama. She actually wastes her time calling me out in class and taunting Kate Marsh. For reals, I wish her parents could see her in action. They'd cut off that trust fund fast. Then again, she's in the Vortex Club and they seem to own the school, so maybe that's why she doesn't give a shit. The odd thing is that she does know art and photography. She can even say all those French names that break my tongue. Her work is a little cold. She has a good eye. She also has an eye for Mr. Jefferson, which is so obvious that I'm embarrassed for her. She does everything but sit in his lap. He keeps his distance, though. We can all tell she's trying to win the Everyday Heroes contest. I'm sure it drives her crazy when there's somebody she can't buy or seduce, huh? Okay, so this is... This is... Hold on. If I... All right, so these are photos that we can take in the episode. What is this? Okay, so this was the diary that I was reading before I rudely skipped past. I will come back to it. Okay, that's the photo she took. 
This is interesting. Let's pay attention to that. These are our text messages. Have a very special 18th birthday. You're an adult now, but you're still a little girl. Check your account. Don't blow it all at once. 921. Oh. I'll have to look that birth date up. I'm sure there's a... Hold on. Now I'm going to look it up right now. All right. So birthday horoscope. People born on September 21 are quiet but personable. They may be extraordinarily shy in, in youth, but they learn to overcome this. Once they blossom, they are something special. They have a tremendous fear of failure and so may sometimes hold back their enthusiasm and commitment. That definitely sounds like Max. Max has extreme anxiety. Hey Max, you around? Always. You okay? Did you want to get tea later today? Absolutely, I'll be free after four. T-T-L-Y. Talk to, talk to you later. That's what that is. I'm like, I don't remember. Happy birthday, Maxine. We can't believe it's been 18 whole years since you were brought to us. Love, Mom. Do you want to meet for coffee after school? I need an excuse to not study. Please make sure you check out Necker Romantic on my flash drive. Wahaha. <laughs> that doesn't sound... Hey, Mad Max, let's bust shit up. Wait, I have to study for a physics test, so if we bust anything, we'll also have to measure its velocity. Don't ignore this message. He's been messaging you. You've been ignoring him for sure. Like Cocteau, he was a true Renaissance man. And his famous song. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? Oh my gosh. You are a journaling fiend. I am definitely not. September. So this is October, which is what we started on, right? But we should start in July. I got accepted into Blackwell Academy. If words could dance, this would be a rave, even though I've never been to one, but who cares because I got into Blackwell Academy. I didn't think I would be so excited since it's not like I didn't used to live in the same town, but when I saw the text from the Blackwell Scholarship Office, I could literally feel my pulse speed up. I, do they text students? Is that a thing? I thought it was going to say, sorry, thanks for playing. It took me a few seconds before I read the whole thing. I guess I wanted to enjoy that last moment of blissful ignorance. And when I saw the first word, congratulations, I think I screamed. My mom cried and my dad laughed. They're so weird, but they're happy. And this means extra financial support because they don't have to pay anything to Blackwell. This means new clothes and if I can work it, a new laptop. Oh, and I have to keep telling myself in all caps, I'm going to Blackwell Academy. August 18. So this is it. I'm leaving Seattle to go back to Arcadia Bay. Usually people go to the high school closest to home. I suppose I am too. It's just I haven't lived here for five years. Out of all the best photography programs in the world, I chose to go to the smallest. Back in a town, I was excited about leaving. Maybe I wanted to come back all along just to see if Chloe and I are still living friends, but I do wish Chloe could have moved with us to Seattle. The city was made for her. When we would play pirates in our rooms and in the woods, it seemed like Seattle was that fabled faraway island of treasure and adventure we were always seeking with coffee shops. But Seattle wasn't like a fable. Au contraire, now Blackwell Academy seems more exotic to me than any other place in the world to study photography under Mark Jefferson's sigh. Insert hearts and flowers. Plus, there will be cool, diverse students from everywhere. I didn't notice that much of a diverse classroom, but I also wasn't paying attention, but we'll take a look. It won't be like my high school now. I never really found a groove with my classmates or boys. I'm lucky I have a couple great friends here, but it's time to ship out. She might not mean diverse in biracial standards. So maybe Arcadia Bay will actually turn out to be the island of treasure and adventure I've been looking for. August 25th. Shit is crazy here. I didn't realize how much crap I had to pack until I had to pack all my crap. Mom and Dad are getting a little too excited. I'm clearing out my room. Though I caught Mom crying when she was packing my shirts. That made me want to cry like a little girl and never leave Seattle. So instead of packing, I feel like burning all my clothes than just raiding a thrift store to build up a new Max wardrobe over my junior year. Not that I even have an old Max wardrobe. 
Nobody will know me except for Chloe, and who knows how different we are now. So I can cut my hair, get a tat and some piercings, maybe date a cute foreign exchange artist from Paris or Rome. I can do anything, unless I get busted. And there will be so many super cool chances for my photography to get exposed. Thinking about that is when I get scared, but excited. And then I don't feel like crying at all. I get tingles down my arms, sensing the universe opening up for me. I can't wait to leave. I just want things to be different at Blackwell. September 2nd. My first entry from my new dorm room the night before my first day at Blackwell. Whew. I haven't had any time to write or even take pictures since I got here. My shit is in boxes all over the room, which is small, but mine, and I never want to leave. I can't wait to decorate. I plan a whole wall of photos. I did meet some of my dorm mates, though. I suck at remembering names, so I won't bother right now. But I think I can already see who's going to be cool to me and who's not. It's a bitch trying to get settled into a new school and social scene after I finally found good friends in Seattle. But I'm here now, and this is the start of my new life. Sweet dreams. September 3. Blackwell sucks ass. I told myself not to whine so soon, but damn. The day started like Christmas morning. I barely had any dreams because I was so pumped to start my first official day of my new life like a dork. Couldn't figure out what to wear, so I chose what was on the floor. I'm no good with names and faces right away, but I picked up some names like Kate, Brooke, Taylor, Alyssa. How could I forget Victoria Chase? Rich, stylish, entitled. I could feel instant judgment when she looked at my raggedy ass clothes as if I'm at Blackwell to strike fashion poses. Maybe I'm being extra crispy sensitive, but I think Victoria wants life here to be like her own reality show. Ugh. So that wasn't fun along with my general social unease. I thought it, it's called anxiety, Max. I thought it would be easier being back. Call the wambulance. I don't want this day to end all woe is Max. It was incredible to walk across the green campus in the morning mist. I love the stone steps and brick walls of Blackwell. Everything is a picture waiting to be taken. Speaking of, at least one great thing did happen today. Mr. Jefferson's photography class. Sigh. There's more to tell, but journal, forgive me. I'm truly wiped out. September 4. I have an ass load of homework already. So much bullshit. At least... Give us noobs a day to acclimate, but to prove I'm not a total loser, I made a new friend in my science class. His name is Warren Graham, and he's a serious geek, plus he's dark and witty. Dark? What? Dark and witty? What does that mean? He comes across as kind of a know-it-all, but it turns out he does kind of know a lot. We talked about photographers, and he actually named a few I'd never heard of. We traded numbers. He'll be a good study partner or a good friend. I'll need at least one based on the click action here. I thought being 18 meant I didn't have to deal with this teenage drama anymore. This is high school, Max. It is all teenage drama. <laughs> at least I get to research famous photographers for some of my homework. Mr. Jefferson assigned us a ton of reading, but this is exactly what I want to study. Jefferson is super cool and super chill. He doesn't try to be too hip, just says what he thinks and expects us to as well. I think he's a genius. Oh my God, I wanna marry him. Just joking, this one class is worth all the social dysfunction. September 15, homework is kicking my ass. I bet the teachers grade harder just to stop you from feeling special, but Victoria Chase and her snob minions still front like they're honored guests for Blackwall. The bros here aren't that different. Nathan Prescott is Victoria's male clone with way more money and attitude if that's possible. His family's the oldest in Arcadia Bay, and I heard stories about them when I was a kid. The Prescotts give a shitload of bank to Blackwall, so Nathan acts like he literally owns the school. Yesterday during class, he put his feet on the desk, started texting, and the teacher didn't say Jack. I'd get suspended, but him and Victoria are part of the silly elite vortex club that puts on popular parties so they get their way. It's good to be the king and queen. I don't want to slam everybody. I do like Kate Marsh. She's down the hall and in one of my classes. She's so pretty and sweet and friendly. It makes her more beautiful than the be biatches. Is that <laughs> is that what that's supposed to be? Biatches here? Like Victoria? Who think beauty is just your face and outfit. See, I'm already playing their drama games. No more. Finally had a chance to take some actual shots around campus today. A perfect blue sky day. I always forget how great I feel after I take pictures when I've been slacking off. Speaking of pictures, Mr. Jefferson told us about the National Everyday Heroes photo contest he wants us all to enter. 
The winner gets a trip to San Francisco and lots of publicity. He wants just one photograph from each student. This is exactly why I wanted to come to Blackwall, and of course I'm scared shitless to enter. At least I have a couple weeks before the deadline in October. So I have plenty of time to stress and procrastinate. Sigh. September 30. I don't know whether I love it or hate it here. I'm trying to keep up with my science class of all things like I give a shit or even understand it. Good thing I know Warren. Too bad I can't clone him to take my place in class. Miss Grant is so much cooler than the class. She explains particle physics so even boneheads like me can kind of understand. I love how she relates society to science and vice versa. I can tell she's committed and passionate about life, unlike some of us in her class. I'm trying to engage more, even if it means asking actual questions in class instead of hiding in the back. I'm just glad I'm not the only social misfit here. How much homework are you avoiding? <laughs> October, my favorite month, the best weather of the year. I love watching the leaves change color, turning into tiny flames, but it's too damn hot, thanks global warming, and I can't bust out the big coats and sweaters or scary movies yet. Soon. Kate let me borrow The October Country by Ray Bradbury. I haven't read much by him, which caused Warren to almost revoke my geek cred before I held up my copy of Battle Royale. But he nails the autumn atmosphere of small towns. The last time I wore a Halloween costume was with Chloe. I have pictures in one of my old albums. I should find a real Halloween party to crash so I can experience some social mingling. It's that or a Vortex Club Stroke Fest swim party. Or is that Backstroke Fest? You're so punny, Max. At least I'm trying to climb out of my cocoon. I shouldn't expect my life to completely change after a few weeks of Blackwall Academy. As my parents love telling me on a loop, you have all the time in the world. All right. Got through all that. Miss Self portraits are famous early examples of that truly awful word you pesky kids love so much. The selfie. And it's a great tradition, and I wholeheartedly fight for your right to I can't to believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. It's cute, but I like it old school. So if anybody wants to question the portrait as I should take a picture to prove I'm still here. Plus it's perfect for my portfolio. Speaking and I have to get my daily selfie quota. I'd talk all the way until the bell rang. It's your turn to lecture us. Now, based on the chapters, I have no doubt you all memorize. I do love my analog camera. I should take a quick picture now. The birth of the self-portrait. Anybody? This, I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. <laughs> the Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Sorry, Max. Cornelius. No more selfies right now. <laughs> you can find out all about him in your textbook. Or even online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. <laughs> oh, Kate. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Nope. Obviously, Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. 
to be consumed by your work. I just really think Everyday Heroes is an important cultural event, and I want to represent Blackwell Academy. You have just by participating, by putting yourself out there in the world. Now, no matter huh. who wins, this might make a cool shot. On a bigger road. I don't want anybody to feel excluded from this process, but I also want everybody to know that this photographic world is not for everybody. I had my moment in the camera eye, and everybody should oh, have totally. that chance. I only want to share whatever gifts I have in the world. Of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. <laughs> Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people laugh. It's called high school. Kate. Oh. Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Purge. Love your porn video. Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Poor thing. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. I hear that. Wanna go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. So what other photo opportunities? Skate, broken skateboard, chipmunk, bed, okay. Probably nothing in this classroom. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. Can't really see what these other stuff are of. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Oop, camera. Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He probably paid 20 grand for that camera. I bet he gets pristine digital images, but I still dig my little instant camera. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. <laughs> she's got other people to talk smack about, Max. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I didn't have any time. Way too much homework. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. He has a point. Anxiety sucks, man. <laughs> That's why anxiety sucks. Okay, I don't think there's anything else back here that we can interact with. So let's head this way. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. I feel like you have to pass you always Welcome to the real world. Just cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture of Chang's lab. What's the point of Because Max wants everybody to see how hip she is. And she plays it so sharp. <laughs> I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. Oh, girl. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. Man, anxiety. Oh. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant camera. Ah, oh, the music in this game is so good. So good. That's one of the things you gotta learn, especially 
with social anxiety. Oh, so good. Um. Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. You, you think everybody notices you and is thinking about you and commenting on you in their head? And really, everybody else is in their own head, too. Alyssa is always texting, but she doesn't hang out with a lot of people. Girls, I'd like to be part of the world around you. These missing persons posters are popping up everywhere. Watching the world from the bright side. I shouldn't be so stingy with my blood. <laughs> Respect classroom, be nice, do your homework, listen to speaker, don't throw food, pick up after yourself, respect your daddy. Did somebody add that? Ah, the science room. Here's the portal to Warren Spring. There's Taylor, always waiting for Victoria. I think that's Courtney. She's such a slave to Taylor and Victoria. I wish I had. Smoke. I hate having everybody see inside my locker. No one's looking inside your locker. I love that picture of mom and dad. Hello, Jack. Kiss, kiss. Andy, you look totally fabulous, as usual. Very few people are looking inside your locker. <laughs> yes, this poster must stop bullies dead in their tracks. Yeah. I cry sometimes, Stella is always deep in her notes. She didn't come to Blackwell to mess around. Well, good for her. She cries sometimes, That's Dana talking, talking to... I think his name is Justin. Dana is on my floor, too. She's such an archetypal, gorgeous cheerleader. They must make them in a factory. <laughs> I shouldn't be so catty. Dana is nice to me. Oh, good. Bigfoot's... Oh. I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. I hate bully jockstraps like Logan. He's a Vortex Club member. So you're just gonna walk by? Poor Daniel. He's so nice. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. You could tell him to stop. Alright, we looked at the missing poster. I wish October would last forever. I love October, Max. Love it. Don't need a PC. Missed the Poetry GM tryouts, and I did not steal that backpack. Backpack with all my school books and my new tablet was taken from the cafeteria after I left it on the table. Oh no. I wish I That's so messed up. I should contact them to find out what I can do. As if I am. Over the past decade, climate change has altered the Oregon coastline, including fish and fauna. This has helped decimate the state's fishing industry, especially in Arcadia Bay. Raise your voice against pollution and save our historic town. Don't let your town drown. More missing posters. Good thing I left my AK at home. Vending <laughs> machine. They should just call it a sugar machine. I mean... That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar dropped out. <laughs> You can never have enough ghosts and skeletons in the hall. Oh, we looked at that. Somewhere around the mountains. No one could try her fountain. Principal doesn't come out of his office much. I don't think they normally do. Miss Grant is a great science teacher. Rachel Amber. She's so pretty. I hate these posters. So sad. How how long has she been missing? Oops. Miss Grant is a great science teacher. That's what I wanted. Rachel Amber. She's so pretty. April. I hate these posters. So sad. 
She's been missing since April and it's October. There's the lighthouse again. Come see the light. Read that. The Bigfoot Stomp. I should develop some school spirit. Go team. <laughs> He's cute. I like skater boys. Too bad they don't like me. <laughs> God, Samuel is such a weirdo. But I kind of like that about him. Excuse me, Samuel. You can really learn a lot about a school by the weird shit posted on the board. Like new tablet for sale contains five gigabytes of cat pits. Swim like an otter. Retired PE teacher, former otter champion will personally train you to glide through the water and embrace your inner otter. Sad, lonely, depressed, come praise with your peers, Bible study. Best singer ever in Oregon looking for best guitarist ever to form a kick-ass band and take over the world. Look at these trophies. Gotta give it up for those Bigfoots. They do stomp. Oh, there's another one. Blackwell sure takes its swimming seriously. But otters are cute. Go otters. I wonder what actually happened to her. Figures Juliet would be dating Zachary. Jocks sucked up in the Vortex Club. Can I? There we go. Figures Juliet would nope. be dating Zachary. Jocks sucked up in the Vortex Club. There's Juliet from my dorm. Yet another Vortex Club disciple. There's Hayden, another Vortex Club bro. But he's actually not an ass. Oh, I can hardly wait to never be too cool like Nathan and Victoria. Lame. More missing posters. Nerd alert. This poster has Warren written all over it. Join the chess team. And we finally made it. Nobody can see my meltdown, except for me. Well, that video's not getting monetized. <laughs> Commercial Amber's a bitch. Now, who would bother to write that crap? This is, that's the girl who's missing. And they wrote that on the bathroom wall. Juliet and Zachary love forever. The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck you. <laughs> this happened to some people. I'm good to flow. Thanks. Vortex club or jerks. What does that mean, Max? This poster must drive people to have sex. Uh, uh, I hate Victoria Chase. Uh, Firebell. Really? I remember when somebody punked the alarm last month. At least I got out of science class for that quiz. People do that regularly? That's a thing? I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? No. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. Girl. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. I don't know how much of a photo op a butterfly on a bucket is. Whoa, 
Where did that butterfly come from? The vent? It doesn't look like any kind I've ever seen before. The blue wings are practically glowing. I, I can almost feel the air moving around me. The butterfly feels almost like a spirit. Uh... Oh, this is... It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You you're okay, bro. Just count to three. Might want to hide a little Don't more. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> you're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control oh me! Oh my god. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! <gasps> no! Oh. Oh, I felt that. Oh. Whoa. What the fuck? I felt How? that gun hit How the floor. Can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. As he likely was. These pieces of time can frame us I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color to Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, oh, shit. Can you give me an example oh, of a damn, photographer I cannot believe who this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller? Diane, can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the... 